Hello, this is John. Welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. And today I will be reviewing a slightly new food product that I have not had yet. Well, I have not had yet before today when I got it. Um, and that is the Pizza Hut Spicy Lovers Pizza. And it has what's spicy on it is spicy marinara, red chilies, fiery flakes. Then it has two types of pepperonis. So it's a crispy cup pepperoni and also the regular sliced pepperoni. I got mine on a hand tossed crust, uh, mainly because of the four options. Pan and stuffed crust added three bucks to the price. Um, I knew stuffed crust cost more, but I always imagined that pan crust was the default crust for pizza hut. I felt like that's what they were like created on was their pan crust pizza. Every time I remember getting pizza pizza as a child, especially before they invented the stuffed crust, it was always that pan crust style. And I thought the pan tossed one was a new one. Um, and they also had a crispy thin crust, um, which I was not, uh, I didn't want to experiment too hard to try that and get something that was terrible. But I got the hand crust, hand tossed crust. Um, I didn't want to pay three bucks extra for a pan style one. This is really about the toppings. Anyway, here we go. Here's the pizza. You might see that there's a, uh, a good third missing. That's because I had to go pick this up myself. And of course, I was hungry on the way back. It's lunchtime. So I started digging into it while I was in traffic getting home. And uh, I'll tell you what I think about it then and now after I show you a bit of this. So here you can see some of the pepperoni are like crispy and cupping and some of them are laid flat. And you have those red fiery peppers. Um, as far as the flakes go, I see some. But I thought there would be more. Like, if you look at this piece, can you spot a flake? No, I'll show you this. Like, there's not like a whole bunch of flakes that fell off. I have a pepper that fell off, but there's really not a lot of flakes that fell off. And if I'm looking at these pieces, see, that could be. There's like a little flake right there, but that could just be a seed from that pepper. Did they not give me flakes? I was wondering why, like, when I was eating it, it just wasn't super spicy. Nothing on the receipt says no flakes. So maybe they forgot to flake mine. Let's give it a taste. What makes a spicy marinara spicy? What's the folks over there? Because, you know, I don't find this super spicy. Even like, I eat the pepper by itself. It's not very spicy. I kind of have like a banana pepper spice to it. I imagine the fire flakes are just <clears throat> crushed red pepper. Which is like a common ingredient in a little pizza video. They'll give you little dime packs of Parmesan and crushed red pepper. In fact, I think I might have some. Before I dig into the next piece, I'm going to go grab some. I'll be right back. Alright. Here we're back and I got some McCormick 
crushed red pepper. So I'm just going to sprinkle here on top of the slice to simulate what you could potentially get out of some fiery flakes. Now I can see flakes on that. Let's get a taste. My mouth has a little more heat in it than that bite. I never had a bite where I was like, all of a sudden there was more heat in there. But as I was eating it, as I was chewing it, the warmth did grow inside of my mouth hole. So uh, actually adding real red pepper flakes, or as pizza likes to call it, fiery flakes, to the pizza will make it hotter, spicier, and um, yeah, I guess that's it for the, the tasting part of this. Let me tell you what I think at the end of the day here. I really like the cut pepperoni. Um, it's crispy. It's uh, a good like charred pepperoni flavor to it. The red peppers, although they're not really spicy, I actually do like um, banana peppers. I do like that. Uh, I do like that level of uh, spice, but I like it in combo with some other spicier things. Um, so you get like some peppers that are more spicy and some peppers that are less spicy, like a blend of different spices and peppers. And uh, disappointed at the fact that I don't see any uh, flakes on my pizza. <laughs> Fiery flakes, as pizza calls them. And um, I'm disappointed that for some reason Pizza Hut is charging more for their pan crust when I thought that's what they did was pan crust. Um, and for that reason, I'm going to give this a not recommend. It's uh, kind of a disappointment. When it came to Arby's and their this is the spiciest fast food sandwich, I was skeptical. It wasn't like challenge worthy spice, but I couldn't argue against the fact that it probably was the spiciest fast food sandwich I've ever had. Um, again, not saying too much when you say that, but that part of it was probably true. This one, spicy lovers. I think if you're a lover of spicy pizza and you just got like jalapenos added to a pizza, maybe sprinkled your own red pepper flakes on top of the pizza, maybe sprinkled some hot sauce on top of your pizza. I think that in itself is more spicy lovers than what you're getting out of this base product. Maybe if you started with this and then added your own spice to it as well, um, this could be like a good starter, a good base for something like that. But as is, the Pizza Hut Spicy Lovers Pizza is more like a, a spicy tolerator's pizza. Um, it's like a pepperoni pizza plus a little razzle dazzle. And for that reason, this is going to be a not recommend for me, the fat hipster. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. 
subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next one. So long.